Hi everyone, Louise from 805 Soap. Um, I'm just here to take another video. The battery died on my um, foot phones, on my foot camera, so I can't uh, get what I re what was already on there. So I'm just gonna redo it. I was making this goat milk soap this morning, and I thought I'd do a video, but it didn't work. And um, this is a goat milk soap. It's 100%. Um, with goat's milk, it's got uh, olive oil, castor oil, palm, and uh, coconut oil in here. And it's hot in my garage. The fan is on right now. I have the fan on all the time, usually when I soap, because it does get hot in here. And uh, But I wanted to thank everybody for um, looking at my videos. I haven't responded. I haven't had the time. I've been too busy soaping. And I'll show you a couple of soap logs that I've already completed. Um, I'm getting ready for a festival at the end of August, so there's it's a two-day festival, and uh, this is my second first uh, two-day festival, and this festival is really big. They said there's 30,000 people that come, so I'm really kind of excited. So I've been soaping quite a bit with this, with cold process, and then I'll do the mountain pork towards I get closer to the date. But anyways, this is um, Japanese cherry blossom. This is cashmere. This is cucumber wasabi. This is melon, mango melon, tang, tang, apple tango mount, uh, apple mango tango. Can't speak. And this is a um, candela oatmeal with tea tree oil. And uh, yeah, so I've been soaping quite a bit. Um, just been making soaps and getting everything done oh I'll show you what else is on my rack um, this is a new one this one right here is uh, fisherman's soap and what I did with this is that I went down to the harbor locally here and I got fresh seawater and I put sand in there I strained it and cleaned it all out and sifted it out me and my girlfriend went down there we had a, such a good time down there and um, this line here is sand from the Channel Islands Harbor. So I was really excited about that. I mean, I think it really turned out, this is the end piece, but it really turned out different. Um, the sand is really a great exfoliant on there. And I put a little bit of anise, anise essential oil in here for uh, fisherman's soap. So I cut all of this up and because um, this is going to be, I'm going on a fishing trip. So I'm going to hand it out to some of the guys I fish with, tell them maybe if they can't fish, they ought to use the soap. Um, so that'll be a little joke for them on it. But yeah, this was the first time I'd ever done something like this is adding the, the, all the sand and everything in it. So it was really neat. Oh, and this is um, one of my other ones. This is um, iced pineapple. This smells really good. And the swirls really turned out nice on here. I like this a lot. This came out really nice. I like this. But um, this is a lard soap, and this is a lard soap. And some of those soap loaves over there that you had saw um, are lard and tallow. Um, so I mixed them up, um, and we'll see. But uh, yeah, I just hope everybody's having a good day. I'm off today from work, so I'm gonna be soaping. and. This morning my battery died, so I would have taken it a picture of me making this, but oh well. Um, I'll probably be soaping later on this afternoon too, as soon as I get my laundry and get a couple things done around the house. But anyways, I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm off today. Take care. Bye.